It's Saturday and here is your weather briefing video for the 28th day of October 2023. While this weekend will be fantastic with unseasonably warm temperatures, we'll have to break out those jackets by Monday night as much colder air moves in. Here's what I have for you in today's video. High pressure will be a dominant factor across the southeast this weekend as rain and cooler air will be held at bay. We'll have partly to mostly sunny skies across central Alabama today with unseasonably warm temperatures, highs in the lower to mid 80s. Sunday will be very similar, but we may have a little more sunshine than what we'll see today, highs once again in the lower to mid 80s. The high will lose its hold on our weather pattern and a cold front will begin working into the area on Monday that will bring much cooler temperatures, an increase in clouds and winds, and a very small chance of a few showers during the evening and overnight hours. Highs will top out in the upper 50s to the lower 80s from northwest to southeast. The front will continue to push through the southeastern half of the area on Halloween, continuing with the mostly cloudy and breezy conditions, along with the small chance of a few stray showers. I do believe at this point that trick-or-treat time will be rain-free with clearing skies. Highs only in the mid-50s to the upper 60s from northwest to southeast. Ridging begins to rebuild over the southeast on Wednesday, but will remain cool and breezy with plenty of sunshine, highs in the 50s. Temperatures will begin to moderate as we'll begin to see a shift in our winds out of the east. We'll have mostly sunny skies with highs in the upper 50s to the mid 60s. And at the end of the forecast period on Friday, we'll be a little warmer with mostly sunny skies, highs in the mid to upper 60s. And now the tropics. Tropical storm Tammy continues to hang around just off to the east of Bermuda and will continue its eastward to southeastward motion through the weekend while becoming weaker. She will become a post-tropical remnant low by Monday night. We also have a disturbance over the southwestern Caribbean Sea that has a low chance for development over the next seven days as it slowly moves northward toward Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. The rest of the tropics are quiet. That will do it for me today. We'll have notes up on the blog throughout the day. I'm meteorologist Scott Martin. Have a great day, stay safe, and God bless.